a collective of Native American tribal leaders are seeking name changes for two Yellowstone landmarks named after two men who enacted violence against tribal people in the area The Great Plains Tribal Chairmen's Association, an organization of tribal chairmen of 16 Sioux tribes from the Dakotas and Nebraska, demand that Mount Own and Hayden Valley be renamed Mount Own, a 10,500 feet peak located in Wyoming, is named after U.S. Army Cavalry Captain and Explorer Lt. Gustavus C. Doan In the winter of 1870, Doan led a bloody massacre resulting in the killing of approximately 200 members from the Blackfoot tribe, according to The Guardian Moat of the camp was comprised of women, children and the elderly, according to the Billings Gazette Many of the population was suffering from smallpox Historian Paul Wiley referred to Doan's involvement as ghastly, truly ghastly 21 years after the massacre, Superintendent Hopeful Doan wrote a letter to Montana Sen Wilbur Sanders that said, I remember the day when we slaughtered the Pecans and how it occurred to me as I sat down on the bank of the Marias and watched the stream of their blood, which ran down on the surface of the frozen river over half a mile, that the work we were then doing would be rewarded, as it has been The other landmark, Hayden Valley, is named after Dr. Ferdinand V. Hayden Unless they are localized and made to enter upon agricultural and pastoral pursuits they must ultimately be exterminated, Hayden said in his U. S. Geological Survey of Wyoming in 1872. The Great Plains Tribal Chairmen's Association hoped to change the names to the First Peoples Mountain in Hayden Valley to Buffalo Nations Valley. We're not against certain names, William Snell, executive director of the Rocky Mountain Tribal Leaders Council, asserted But we're not for names where individuals have been involved with genocide, where elders and children have been killed, and there have been some traumatic events in our history that don't meet standards of honor Since the early 1990s, the U.S. Board on Geographic Names has had numerous requests for the word squad having to rename a plethora of places with that it used the offensive term Share this article Share Squaw Peak in Phoenix, Arizona, notably had a name change in 2013 to pursue a peak named after the first native woman to die in combat serving in the U.S. military, Lori and Pistiwa We'd be driving down the freeway and saying, oh my god, why do we still have to look at this disparaging name, said lawyer and former Arizona State Senate member, Jack Jackson Jr. His father led the charge on a slew of name-changing bills during his career in the Arizona legislature, which lasted 15 years Native people are always facing disparaging names and mascots, he added Local county representatives in the Yellowstone area have opposed name changes, voting against them in May Tim French, the county commissioner, the equated the name change to trying to change history But his opposition could spell trouble for trying to keep the names the Board on Geographic Names places a good deal of emphasis on local opinion, asserted Executive Secretary, Lou Yost Online, efforts to mobilize supporters of the renaming have gone extremely well Len Nesifer, of the Navajo, has used his successful Notivisitors brand to amass 18,000 followers on Instagram There, he encourages social media users to utilize the original tribal names when on the app's geotagging feature 
The activist even identified four mountains surrounding the Navajo Nation using the Facebook geotagging system. Cisnichini and Ive Nitsit were given in Colorado instead of Blanca Peak and Hesperus Mountain. In Arizona, he tagged San Francisco Peaks as Bokahusbiri. Nesifer also tagged Tsudzib instead of Mount Taylor in New Mexico. The creation of the first national parks, like Yellowstone and Glacier National Park, was predicated on the forced removal of indigenous populations from these areas, Nesifer explained to Outside Online. It created this myth that these are untouched wilderness areas 